The need for new gasifiers at Secunda became apparent when the 80 original fixed bed gasifiers could no longer reach the required baseline demand for raw gas production. The additional Mark IV fixed bed gasifier project was initiated to close the gap between the available raw gas capacity and increased demand. It was also to enable the existing gasifiers to be run at lower individual gas loads, providing additional flexibility in gas generation capacity, as well as maintenance flexibility. The new gasifier project was a challenge to the expert Sassel technology team in a number of ways. The first hurdle was how to build the new gasifiers inside a live running plant and ensure seamless integration with the existing plant and equipment. Another challenge was that there was no space available in the existing gasification control systems area to house the new control systems for the four additional gasifiers. A highly skilled project team was selected to find a way around these complications by building an intermediate controller to regulate two of the gasifiers. The two sister gasifier controls were switched over to the intermediate controller, which enabled their cabinets to be removed and freed up space. In the space between the two adjacent gasifier cabinets, the controls of three gasifiers were installed. The intermediate controllers had to be installed to enable the two existing gasifiers, per phase, to be switched over to the new control system. As there could only be one intermediate controller per side, the team needed to switch over from the intermediate controller to the new control cabinets and repeat the process for the next phase. The switchovers were done inside the live gasifier plant, which put the project team under extreme pressure to ensure no plant downtime. They also needed to perform the switchovers in the shortest possible time frame. Despite the numerous challenges and constraints, admirable results were achieved in both the production and safety of the project. We had many challenges. We had to implement this in a live plant. We had some plant upsets in terms of spillages and so forth. We've been estimating that the project is very easy, but actually become very, very difficult. First one uh, challenge was surprise. A big challenge was that we could not work in a task force because we are working in a matrix here and our main contractor Linde was almost 9,000 kilometers away in Germany. I think from a project management and engineering management point of view, uh, the most difficult thing was that the project was divided into a number of sub-projects and managing those along with the overall project in its own was a very challenging uh, task. And we challenged day-to-day -day problems, solving technical problems, and keeping the timeline. This was a very big challenge. The project team resolved the problem of space in the gasification basements by removing the two existing control systems and replacing them with a system for three gasifiers. Intermediate controllers were installed to enable the two existing gasifiers per phase to be switched over to the new control system with the one additional gasifier. The switchovers were done inside the live gasifier plant, which resulted in the project team being under extreme pressure to ensure no plant downtime and to perform the switchover in the shortest time frame. Ensuring safe working conditions was also a priority, and working in hot conditions under live bunkers meant special precaution needed to be taken, and safety and permit procedures formed a critical part to the overall project. I'm really proud of what the team achieved. We achieved what we expected. It's done according to the scope. I'm most proud of the attitude of my engineering team, of the discipline engineers. Very close to our original estimate in terms of timeline, within budget. And the fact that the project team was driven to get the job done on time. Now, classification can meet Sassel Sinfield's requirements. Engineering and construction contractors spent an amazing total of 2.4 million man-hours on this project. The project team completed the planned extension successfully, within budget and very close to the original time frame, despite the numerous challenges and delays experienced. The four additional gasifiers have the same capacity as the existing gasifiers and will increase the pure gas production capacity by 5% addressing gas supply shortfall and directly contributing to additional products for Synfuels and income for Sassol. The success of the additional Mark IV fixed bed gasifier project would not have been possible 
Without the exemplary interface management, everyone on the project was aware that they were taking on the challenge of working under extreme pressure to deliver on time. A true example of pushing SASL teamwork and interface management to its full potential.